Good morning guys and welcome back. So we're back with a new Jeep video. You guys have been asking for Jeep videos and we're delivering. Today we're doing an install. We'll be installing the XT Tracks recovery board mounting kit for any car really. It doesn't have to be on a Jeep, but we'll be installing it on the Jeep today, which is pretty good. Uh, we've been using the XT Track stuff for ages. We've got the um, recovery boards. Um, we've also got the air compressor as well. We'll leave a little video up there if you guys want to check that out. Um, so normally we'd be installing, well, we used to install our recovery boards just on the roof racks and use tie downs um, and just like an eye bolt to secure them to the roof racks. And it's all good and fine, it just takes longer to uh, put them together, undo them, stuff like that. And when you're stuck somewhere, you want to get them, uh, your recovery boards off the car as soon as possible. Uh, so we've grabbed the uh, Extra Tracks uh, mounting kit. Now you can buy these online through their website which is about a hundred bucks um, and they're awesome they've got a great customer service which i love um, if you guys need any advice on their products or anything like that any questions just message them on instagram their customer service is awesome um, so this is a universal mounting kit um, here which is awesome um, as you guys can see there's a lot of different ways you can mount these they've got their uh, branding on there which is, always looks great i love how they use black products um, I think they just look really sleek um, and really clean. Um, but there's lots of different mounting holes for uh, different platforms you might have, either the flat rack, like the um, Pioneer platform. Uh, we've got we've got the roof racks for the Rhino rack and stuff like that. Uh, but you can kind of mount them anywhere. You can mount them on your bonnet, uh, draw holes on the side of your Jeep, trailer, caravan, whatever it might be. It's a great universal kit, so you can pretty much mount them anywhere. Um, so with the actual kit itself, it comes with two of these boards. Um, as I said, you can either use the outer platforms or holes like we will be today because our, our roof racks aren't really spaced that well, or you can use the inner ones depending on what setup you want. So they are very universal, which I love. Um, and to secure them and unlock them, uh, we've just got this tab here, which is great. So that just slides up and down. Now these can fit two to four boards. Um, on the mounting kit itself we've got two can fit up to four if you want securely um, and to lock it in so with the old one we were using we we're just using tie downs um, and it wasn't really that secure i was always worried if we were camping somewhere or we we're staying somewhere over the night someone could easily steal them because they're just like a tie down um, they're not really that secure but with these um, to unlock and lock them uh, you've got the gray part and the black part to lock it that's locked at the moment so you can't actually pull that up at all which is great and to unlock it, all you've got to do is grab the grey part and twist, and unlock, and that just moves up and down. Um, and while it's locked, you can also grab a padlock, um, padlock it through there, and that way if you're staying somewhere overnight, whether it be on the caravan, whatever it might be, or your car's left um, outside if you don't have a garage, you can actually just use a padlock um, and lock it in so it's nice and secure, which is awesome. So everything's provided inside the kit apart from the bolts uh, to actually secure it to the roof rack. Uh, which is fine because everybody's going to be using something different depending on what your setup's going to be. Uh, so with these, uh, you'll get one of these um, threaded ends for the boards to slot to, and just choose which uh, side or which holes you'll be going with. We're going with the outer holes, and all these do is slide in there um, and clip into place, which is nice and secure, and those won't actually move. So as I said, you can either use the outer ones or the inner ones depending on what you want and you can just choose where you want to belt it through whether it's the platform you're using or roof racks or something else so let's jump on top of the Jeep uh, we've already installed this one here which is looking great um, and we'll just start installing this one um, now we'll show you how to install it it's pretty straightforward but it will change depending on what your setup is all we're using is a nylock nut um, and a bolt and washer uh, you can get like little plates that slide into your roof racks, it might be a bit more secure, but I think nut and washer will probably just do for us for the time being. So let's go ahead and install this one. So what we'll be doing is using the outer holes, you've got three different holes on the outside and you've got the inner holes to choose from as well, which is you've got lots of options depending on what your setup is, which is really good. Just find your holes, slide it in.
all mounted up. What you got to do is get your XC tracks. Um, whether you guys are using the smaller ones, medium ones, we've got the medium ones. I think that's a good size for the JK. You guys might have the large, extreme ones. They're pretty big. Anyway, they can fit up to any size extra track. So you got to do is get your boards. We've got them mounted on the back holes. You need to mount them on the center holes. Depending on if you've got them there, uh, they are for those center ones. We put them on the outside ones. Then with your security clips, slide them down, put a little bit of pressure on it so it locks it in. Locks. Locks it down. Lock it down, and then you got a nice secured board on top of your roof. And then, if you want for an added bit of security, I will probably get one because I think um, having more secure boards is better. And I'll just attach the key to my key ring, something like that, or keep it inside the Jeep so when I need it, uh, when someone else is getting stuck, and probably not me, just undo it. That falls off. Same with that one, quickly undo it, falls off, falls off pulled off which I think is a great idea then you just lift your board straight up and you're good to go get unstuck and you're ready to rock again and if you want to run more boards as I said before you can and just lock on beautiful you got nice and secured boards at the top of your roof Really tight in there. Ain't coming off in a hurry, which is good. As you want. And we've got the black boards, uh, black mounts, everything like that. It looks clean, just a super clean setup. Anyway, that's from me. Pretty much it for today, guys. If you like this product, um, you like the XT Tracks uh, recovery mounting kit, I'll leave a link in the description below. Excellent customer service and awesome products, guys. And about a hundred bucks, so they're really cheap um, but they're such a good product a lot cheaper than other brands on the market uh, but the quality is still awesome and i like how universal they are if you guys do want to mount them to just your hard top john's your hard top your bonnet whatever it might be mount them wherever you can mount them pretty much anywhere you want um, which i absolutely love um, so you guys you guys want to check this out link down in the description below if you guys want to check out those other videos of the air compressor and the recovery boards um, we've got from them i'll leave a little video just up here so you guys can check that out but that's pretty much it for today guys if you haven't already smash that like button down below check out the link in the description for the xy tracks products they are always love their uh, customer service their customer service is definitely um, one of the best out there so link in the description if you haven't already smash the like button if you like to smash that subscribe button as well we're having more videos more jeep videos as you guys been asking for a few installs and stuff like that um and maybe a walk around because we do have a right hand side jeep so if you guys are interested if you live in america or somewhere else that drives the left hand side we might do a bit of a point of view driving a right hand side jeep um so if you guys wouldn't mind that let me know in the comments below but that's pretty much it for today guys thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys next time